Greetings, greetings, greetings once again, my sports to the bone people. Back at it again. Yes, man. Today is a very busy, busy day, no, my people. I tell you, busy in the cricketing world. Another set of um, stories here. We see where the West Indies women, they were able to get victory in the first T20 game against Pakistan. Yeah, man. We won the game by one run. Very, very close game. So I'm going to give you the details of that one. Plus, we are going to talk a little bit about JCA. That's the Jamaica Cricket Association. And we have a new president. Wilford Billy Heaven is gone. He's out of office. And in steps a new leader. Also, we see Sunil Narayan in the IPL continuing to do his thing. I mean, his team ended up on the losing side, but he actually got a good half century again. So we're going to give you a quick recap of that game. Give a listening ear until the end and let me know what you all think in the comment section. Of course, I'm going to start with our ladies. So the West Indies women went up against Pakistan and we batted first in that game, scoring 122 for 9. 122 for 9 of 20 overs, right? Not a lot of runs, but we were able to defend it. In that 122, um, unfortunately, our skipper, Haley Matthews, didn't score in this game. Um, Joseph, who opened the innings with Matthews, she made 34 of 36. She, ho um, she was our top scorer. Um, Shemaine Campbell, the season campaigner, she made two. Stephanie Taylor, the former captain, made 30 of 32. And we saw Nation and Henry getting 13 apiece. Uh, Fletcher also picked up, thir um, also got 13. 13 from 9. So 122 for 9 is how things went for us. Um, for the Pakistan team bowling, Sadia Iqbal, uh, she took uh, 2 for 23. She um, was supported by Fatima Sana, who took three for 24 off her four overs. And that's how that part went. Now, when it was time for us to bat, um, to bowl, we were able to restrict Pakistan to 121 for eight. So very close game, my people. We ended up securing a victory there by um, one run. Uh, batting for the Pakistan team, we saw a couple of ladies um, Amin, she got 23. Uh, Dar, that's the captain, she made 27. Those were the two top scorers for them. Now, bowling for the West Indies team, uh, we saw Ramarak. Ramarak led the way with 4 for 15 of uh, 4 overs. Very, very impressive. 4 for 15 of um, 4 overs. Uh, we also saw Joseph, uh, Matthews, uh, Fletcher um, all picking up a wicket apiece. And that contributed to us winning the game there by one wicket. So congratulations to the West Indies women. You understand, you know, continuing the momentum. Uh, they won that ODI series 3-0. And they have gotten the T20 series off to a very good start. So shout out to um, the ladies. All right. Sticking to T20. But on the franchise side of things. Um, we saw KKR taking on the Punjab Kings today and it was a high scoring game my people I tell you I, I don't know These pitches man, I, I, I going to wait and see if we're going to see these sort of scores in the in the World Cup because I don't know <laughs> um, KKR they batted first and scored 261 for 6 of 20 overs 261 for 6 and you know you think that's a good total but guess what Punjab Kings made 262 for 2 in what? 18.4 overs. Good gracious. 18.4 overs, my viewers and subscribers. Johnny Bearstow got 100. 108, not out. But before we go to him, batting for KKR, Phil Salt made 75 of 37. 6 fours and 6 sixes. Right? He was able to put on 138 with Sunil Narayan. Narayan got 71 of 32, 9 fours and 4 sixes. That's a strike rate of 221.88. Um, Ventekesh Ayer made 39. 
Andre Russell made 24 of 12, two fours and two sixes, strike rate of 200. Right, so that is how it went um, for them. Ashdeep Singh, he was the pick of the bowlers, two for 45 from four overs. Um, you know, uh, so that that's basically how it went there. Now, when it was time for the Punjab Kings to bat, I am sure they went in thinking that that's a lot of runs. But guess what? They put on 93 before they lost the first wicket. 93 for one, right? And that was after over 5.6. Whole heap of runs. Um, batting for them, Singh, he got 54 off 20. Um, I think he was he was actually the impact player. Johnny Bearstow, 108 of 48. It's a couple of days ago we heard some talks coming out in... Uh, um, some uh, media from over there in, in England saying that you know it's it's highly unlikely that he's going to be anywhere near the squad because of fitness and discipline issues. So you know, good to see him getting a century there. Riley Russo, um, 26 of 16, and Singh, um, you know, he made 68 of 28, not out, two fours and eight sixes to help um, his team across the line. Right, so that is how it went for them. Sunil Sunil Narayan, I don't know how he managed this, my people. Even with the team going like that, Sunil Narayan bowled four overs for 24 runs and picked up one wicket. Can I imagine? Andre Russell, two overs, went for 36. Um, Rana, four overs, 61. Right? Um, Chakavati, three overs, 46 runs. So, whole heap of runs score in that game, my people. Right? Um, Punjab Kings winning the game there by eight wickets with eight balls to spear. Can I imagine a team making um, 261 and you win the game with eight deliveries to spear? Good gosh, man. I don't know. I, I am really sorry for the bowlers. I am sorry for the bowlers based on how they are doing these, um, these pitches. All right. Moving on to something back in my home country, Jamaica. Taking this one from Sportsmax. It says, the headline says, Reviving Cricket's Spirit. New JCA President Bennett focused on um, rebuilding sport from its foundation. <laughs> Tell them my viewers and subscribers. Um, Donovan Bennett is, is, the, is, the, is the guy. Dr. Donovan Bennett. Right? Um, the, the new... The new president of 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 um, Jamaica Cricket Association, right? So this is Dr. Bennett. If you really want to um to 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 K I L L um whatever you do, start from the top going down. So that's that is saying if you start from the top going down, you know. So um uh, the the current president um Wilford Billy Heaven, right? He was booted. He was voted out right um let me just read a little bit out what this is saying so you say those words um by the newly elected jamaica cricket association president dr donovan bennett just about declared that he is armed with vision and no nonsense approach to the uh to not only change the narrative of country's governing cricket body but also to rebuild the sport from the youth level up <laughs> all right um you say um Bennett who, Bennett, who has a passion for cricket, revealed plans for the journey ahead with optimism that he can lead Jamaica cricket into a new era of greatness after the dethrone, after he dethroned Wilford Billy Heaven, 67 to 30, during the JCA's annual general meeting at the Jamaica Conference Centre on Thursday. So that was yesterday. So this is what Dr. Bennett is saying. I suppose because of my work at the youth level, I must say I was quite successful for a very long time. And if we are going to rebuild Jamaica's cricket, then we have got to start from the bottom and work our way up. Right? Start from the bottom and work our way up is what he's saying. Right? He's saying that if you start um, a building and you build from the top downwards, you are going to have problems. There is only one profession where they start from the top um, to the bottom, and that's um, <laughs> that's a uh, uh, grave digger. You know, I say that's that's a grave digger. <laughs> Easy enough. But yeah, that is basically how it went, my viewers and subscribers. Wilford Billy Heaven is gone. I I won't even say anything um, where 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 Billy Heaven is concerned. I I will just leave that. Um, hopefully, this new president will be able to get some work done and help uh, Jamaica's cricket back to the top. We're going to leave it right here so for now. 
and we'll definitely touch base again later on big up